Synesthesia itself is um, a very unique um, way of experiencing life. Um, it's quite extraordinary and some people have it, some people don't. It is neurons or a neurological pathway crossing in the mind. The most common form of it is that you can see letters and they come across as colours, um, but it can be spatial, um, it can be music as taste, and it does influence creativity quite a lot. So you'll find that a lot of painters and a lot of artists have synesthesia. Um, a lot of people in Lush have synesthesia and create things from there. Well, synesthesia is this strange condition, which I didn't even know I had until I was sat in a big group of people and I said to everybody, but you must smell sort of it must just uh, do not go in one part of your brain. Do not notice the the structure of it. Does it not smell square? And it was a big group. It was about 50 people. Nobody smelled like I do, except Simon. And then when we looked up, it was hereditary. I have a couple of different versions of synesthesia. I'll see colours in a lot of things. As developing a treatment, I'll see the different elements of the treatment as different colours and then other ideas as another colour. So say for example this is red and this is green but the treatment to me has to be green. I'll pick out the green bits and put them all together and make sure that the entire thing is, is green and maybe a splash of yellow if it works. Like I'm painting a painting in my mind or I can um, taste massage when I'm receiving it. Especially around um, my back and shoulders, it tastes like berries, so I get a lot of blueberries and, and raspberries and things. So synesthesia was our first treatment, and it was where the idea came from to make an experience rather than just a massage in a conventional spa. Um, so it's a unique journey. Um, it's also very multi-sensory, and so um, it's also our longest treatment at the moment at 80 minutes of full body massage. So a super lovely time to be able to really sink in and relax, um, but also be taken on this really bespoke journey as well. So we decided to refresh synesthesia treatment because we needed to make it more relevant in a post-COVID world. We decided to work with Kate Downey Evans, our business psychologist, who was really good at, at, at informing us of mental health basically and what her clients are asking for. I mean when I looked at the previous treatment which by the way was amazing um, but also I think it was developed about 10 years ago yeah. was it and I just think the world is I mean it's unbelievably different it's, you know even in the last two or three years it's unbelievably different and I think what's magical about synesthesia is it takes you on this individual journey so it's happening all over the world and spas all over the world but it feels somehow completely unique to you. The original one was very much what you wanted manifested this one in a way is a little more to do with mental health isn't it? it? I think it really is yeah. It was just lovely and so appropriate I think mm. to change it. How did we come up with the new intentions and the new uh, kind of process? I mean the first thing was about connecting into where people are at really um, and through, you know, I'm a psychologist, so I spend a lot of time working with people and understanding what's going on for them. And there's, there's lots of patterns where people might be struggling. All of that kind of got funneled into uh, the words on the bottles, um, which are really about kind of as people come in, um, choosing almost the, the journey, if you like, that they're going to go on for that kind of 90 minutes. I mean, the thing is with the synesthesia, then. There are, there are some very obvious materials that come to mind immediately. Sometimes you can, you know, you can find a pat description for why you think that particular oil is very suited to that particular word, but it's much more a feeling. And I think these meet, meet people where they are. So yeah. one of the ones I think has been quite popular is focus on what matters. Yes. And that is that, isn't it? It's yes. wherever you are. You know, strip it back, focus on what matters. And I think there's a couple of others that I've really noticed are um, like felt right on the back of COVID, which yeah. as I understand have also been quite popular. So there's um, there's Rise Like a Phoenix, it's yeah. kind of like resurgence almost. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and I think there's uh, Awakening to New Beginnings oh, is another, yeah. another one that people have really taken to because it yeah. feels like that yeah. now, doesn't it? Kind of the new normal, I suppose. If I've learned about the new normal, it's just that it's total flexibility at all times. Yeah. Another thing that we were receiving was customer feedback and feedback from our spas that the, the massage should be deeper and more effective. 
We also decided to work with Deb Alma from Poetry Pharmacy, so that was a bit of a collaboration going on there. We wanted to um, give away a gift at the end. We decided to give away bath bombs with Mark's fragrance for hope or inspiration. And then inside is a little surprise piece of poetry that just helps to back up and recreate the synesthesia experience that you have in the treatment room at home in your bath. It's almost like you can continue your treatment even when you've left the spa um, and just add into the massage part of it as you were saying that the treatment itself needed to feel a bit more effective um, so yeah we've looked at the routine and simplified it so that the therapist can get really lost in the music as well because um, it's choreographed with the music a really special soundtrack um, but also that they can really focus on what is happening to the client's body and really read the muscles. So it comes from the music through the client and through the therapist and it's all just really intertwined um, all together to create a lovely effective muscle massage as well as the experience all around it as well. And a 52 piece orchestra just really evokes this emotional but also really joyful experience throughout for me personally, intertwined with English countryside sounds, local bird sounds, and it's just a really beautiful, original piece of music. And it is obviously the first time we worked with Simon Emerson as well, so it just brings back lovely memories of working together. It was where the idea for an English spa came from, so the, the idea that it takes you on a 24-hour day, it celebrates English heritage, it's really beautiful.